Hi there, welcome back to the Dreamkeeper channel. So first off, thanks for subscribing, means a lot, helps me out, helps the channel out, helps us grow. But moving on, so this one's called Beware the Bearer of False Gifts and uh, it kind of ties in with like the, the AI alien god and uh, it'll tie in with a few other videos that I'm going to do in the future as well. Uh, so it's basically, you'll have heard me speak about this before, like when UFOs crash, they, they call them donations, they don't call them crashes anymore because it's like gifts being like dropped off to like humanity for whoever. But uh, this one is really interesting because it involves crop circles as well. So basically there was like a crop circle, it was in like England and uh, I think it was like 2002 and it was a kind of like binary code and uh, obviously like that can be decoded. So the, the story goes, I, I don't know if it's true or no, but it, it apparently is. But uh, the story goes that it was decoded and it was saying like, it said, uh, beware the bearer of false gifts. And uh, the kind of theory behind it is that, like what I was saying with the AI alien god, this, this could be like a, like we could be looking at it like a gift, but it could actually be a, a trap, it could be like a like a Trojan horse kind of set up and we think we've, we've got the best thing and it's technology and all this kind of thing and really it's it's overtaking us, it's, it's consuming us. Uh, so to me it's really quite interesting, like I say, it ties in with the AI alien god and that and I've got the, the actual story here, so or mere facts about it, so I'll just read this out. So it says, the crop circle with the message, beware the bearer of false gifts, appeared in a field near Crabwood, England, in August 2002. It gained attention due to its intricate design and the presence of what appeared to be binary code embedded within it. The binary code, when decoded, allegedly translated to the warning message, uh, some interpreted this message as a cautionary note about deception or manipulation, possibly related to extraterrestrial contact or government secrecy. The crop circle generated significant interest and discussion within the crop circle research community and among UFO enthusiasts. And then it just says that it's uncertain and people are skeptic, skeptical about it and stuff. But to me, <clears throat> it's quite interesting that, that there's, there's lots of wee dots that you can join together kind of thing. Like I'm not saying it's 100% true, or maybe it's just somebody thinking like me, but taking it to extremes and like making crop circles. But crop circles are a whole different, like I'll make a video about them as well, because they're, like they're really interesting. Uh, and there's like, I think I'll be, there'll be a couple more videos I'll make about them because there's a, a different one as well. Uh, but uh, it's quite cool that it was a binary code and it could be decoded. And uh, it ties in with it, the kind of story, or I think there's like movies or books or theories about this that in the future people travel back in time to basically destroy or stop the, the first computer being made. I think it was like an IBM computer or something and it's like there's something about that there's lots of myths and legends and stories about like how technology like digital and silicon based technology started and also like with the Roswell crash that was on about the do or the donation and uh, like the, the government are looking at it like it's, it's donations or gifts to humanity but if that was like a, an, just say an alien race that had deceitful or bad intentions, then they could be saying like, we could be interpreting this as, oh, this is great. 
they're donating technology to us to help us, when really it's just like a Trojan horse. And uh, if it was an AI alien god, then that was the first seed planted with technology that would end up consuming us in the end. Uh, and I just think it was fascinating just because it involves like the government, yeah, crop circles, aliens, technology. And obviously it's kind of like stories and myths and or truth depending what what side you're coming for or just just all nonsense but to me there, there is something to this the crop circles as well I, I, I do believe that some of them are like uh, like made by humans but I, I do think some of them are unexplainable and there was an interesting thing that goes away back in history I think it was like medieval times about the black uh, plague and uh, they, they had the picture, I think that's where the Grim Reaper comes through, like with the black hood and that, and the, the scythe. But he was meant to be, there was, they had seen figures in the field, like making shapes in the cornfields with a scythe, which is basically like a, a like the crop circles kind of thing. So there's lots of tied into it. It is, to me, it is connected. It could, they could be leaving us messages, like that we, we're just, like most people ignore them and just think they're no like humans made them kind of thing but if people studied them well a lot of people do and uh, they're really interesting and also that ties in with the donations the gifts to humanity and then if that was like because there's meant to be because I'll make a video about this as well like the the galactic uh, council thing like the the, like all the different groups of aliens so some would be good some would be bad a bit like humans like some are good some are bad or like we can all be good and bad kind of thing but people all hear agendas and stuff and if they're intelligent like us like they're, they're supposed to be then they'll hear agendas and they uh, they'll be they'll hear, they'll be vying for for control and like just like us basically what we do in, in like the world so it's quite interesting so that that's that like the beware the bearer of a uh, false gifts and I, I thought it was really interesting uh, and like I say like only time will tell if it if it turns out to be true but that's that for today so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.